After the critically acclaimed Entourage series became an international success that ran for eight seasons and included a feature film. Vince will not speak to you until he, drama, has a job. Really? 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 Really. After Entourage was nominated for 26 Primetime Emmy Awards with six wins and nominated for 14 Golden Globe Awards. After the hit series that was loosely based on Mark Wahlberg's past with characters from real people in the actor's life. Entourage has been off the air for over 10 years now, and believe it or not, beginning its run in 2004, the comedy drama series enjoyed eight seasons of solid ratings before ending in 2011. The series premiered on HBO on July 18, 2004, and concluded with Entourage the Film, released in the US on June 3, 2015. Mark Wahlberg and Steven Levinson had served as the show's executive producers, and the show's premise is loosely based on Wahlberg's experiences as an up-and-coming film star. According to Mark Wahlberg, Entourage was initially born when his assistant asked if he could film Wahlberg and his friends, calling them hilarious. Other reports credit Eric Weinstein, who was a longtime friend of Wahlberg, with the idea of filming the actor's group of friends. However, according to Donnie Carroll, who was the inspiration for the Turtle character, the idea for a show involving an actor and his friends had actually come from him. Carroll claims that the idea had originated as a book idea, centered around Carroll's own life and experiences with Wahlberg, titled From the Hood to Hollywood, A Soldier Story. In order to keep the content light and avoid Wahlberg's violent past, the story was chosen to be more of a satirical approach on the Hollywood lifestyle. Therefore, a fictional approach was chosen rather than a straight documentary, thus giving birth to Entourage. Since the show's finale, the cast has gone on to do their own work and continue to make headlines, and some of the stories are pretty insane. One star of the show took a hit during the Me Too movement after having a number of assault allegations, which he has denied, while two other stars went on to stay in show business with one just finalizing a divorce that had been ongoing since 2016. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith, and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? We're taking a look at the star-studded cast of Entourage and what they're all up to these days. I mean, maybe you want to know a bit about what Vince and Ari and Turtle are up to, but what about Drama and E? If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know in the comment section who you want us to document next. They have some pretty insane stories. Anyways, let's get into this video. Video. After Entourage, Jeremy Piven made headlines on October 30th, 2017, after an adult film actress and reality television personality, Ariane Belmar, made accusations via Twitter that Piven had groped her. The next day, Piven responded to these allegations, writing, I unequivocally deny the appalling allegations being peddled about me. It did not happen. While Casey Friedman came to Belmar's defense in an Instagram post stating that he engaged in predatory behavior toward her when she was far too young. Shortly after, on November 9th, advertising executive Tiffany Scorby alleged that Pippin had attacked her in 2003, stating that he had jumped on her, exposed his genitals, held her hands down, and began rubbing against her body until he ejaculated. Pippin responded to the allegations, calling them absolutely false and completely fabricated. On November 13th, 2017, Pippin volunteered took a polygraph test in which he was asked a series of questions about each allegations and had denied them. He passed the test with no signs of deception. However, later that month, Anastasia Taney, who worked as an extra on Entourage, alleged that Pippin confronted her in a dark hallway and groped her breast and genitals as he forcefully pushed her against the wall. As a result, in November of 2017, CBS decided not to order a full season of Wisdom of the Crowd following weak ratings and allegations of sexual harassment involving Jeremy Piven. Things got even worse for Pippin in January of 2018 when BuzzFeed published an article in which three more women accused Pippin of sexual misconduct or inappropriate behavior. They alleged Pippin pinned down one woman on a couch after following her to her trailer on the set of a film in 1985, engaged in physically aggressive behavior with another while on a date, and attempted to force himself on a third woman in a hotel room around 1994. BuzzFeed News cooperated the stories with eight people who said that the woman had shared the encounters with them in the years since. While he is still working on a few film projects, Pippin spends most of his time on the road performing stand-up comedy. After Entourage, Granier's name hasn't garnered a lot of big projects over the last few years, but that does not mean he's not working. Granier continues to act, but shifted over to music and activism as he plays the guitar, bass, drums, and harmonica. Granier plays in two New York-based rock bands, Kid Friendly and the Honey Brothers. In fact, he loves music so much, he created his own recording studio, Rec 
Backroom Records, which is free for bands to use, and they'll even make you a band music video for free. In 2014, Grenier and Gladizar partnered with Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture to create Shift Mobile Kitchen Classroom, a teaching kitchen on wheels for high school students in New York City. On World Environment Day 2017, Grenier was appointed as a Goodwill Ambassador for the United Nations Environment Program. Grenier was chosen to do his work with the Lonely Whale Foundation. In his role, Grenier advocates for reducing single-use plastic and for the protection of marine species. Grenier's passion for environmentalism has led to the show Alter Eco for the Discovery Channel system nation Planet Green. He's also worked on the app Eco Hero, which is a barcode scanning tool to help consumers see the environmental impact of a product before purchasing. As for the Hollywood life, Grenier is still working on a few projects, including a part in a new Netflix series called Clickbait. In addition, Grenier was also spotted in a Hallmark original Christmas movie, Christmas at Graceland, home for the holidays. After Entourage, Kevin Connolly continued to work as an actor in Hollywood, but went on to direct a number of films and series. In 2018, he directed the film Gotti, which starred John Travolta as mobster John Gotti. Connolly was hired after a number of other directors, including Barry Levinson, were attached to the project during its lengthy development process. However, the film was a critical and commercial disaster and is one of the few films to hold an approval rating of 0% on the website Rotten Tomatoes. You know how bad you gotta be to get a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes? Jeez. In 2020, a costume designer accused Connolly of sexual assault at a 2005 rap party for the film Gardener of Eden, which he directed. Through his attorney, Connolly denied the claims and said that the encounter was consensual. Today, Kevin launched his own podcast network called Action Park Media, where he co-hosts a successful podcast called Victory that features Kevin Dillon and the show creator Doug Ellen. After Entourage, Kevin Dillon hasn't landed many roles in the time since Entourage ended. Most recently, Kevin Dillon starred in Last Buddy Games, was in the midst of filming Reagan, and he's expected to star in Red Money. In 2018, he appeared in the drama film Dirt and portrayed Jimmy O'Shea in two episodes of police procedural drama series Blue Bloods. Dylan just finalized a divorce that has been going on since 2016. Dylan was ordered to make equalization payments totaling of $1.7 million and an additional 200000 k for her share of a brokerage account and co-host the Victory podcast with Entourage creator Doug Ellen. After Entourage, Jerry Ferrer had continued to act and lost over 50 pounds. Jerry is now a husband and a father, recently appeared on ABC's A Million Little Things, a shady lawyer character Joe Proctor on the star's drama Power. In addition, Farrah made an appearance in character as Turtle for a DirecTV commercial and dabbled with business ventures as Farrah is also co-founder of Fat Cells Deli in West Hollywood, California. All right, so I think I'll bring this Where Are They Now to an end right here. After checking out the cast members of Entourage, what did you guys think? If you'd like to see more of this series, please be sure to let us know who's next in that comment section down below. Don't forget to follow me on the gram and I'll see you guys next time.